Before we visit the Baron, can I check out the stash again? I just want to put some new stuff in here. Oh, I haven't tried fighting yet, have I? The axe that we're using right now, how's it gonna be? What's the... What's the sword that I switched out for? Is it this one? Uh... Wait, steel sword, right? Steel sword. Yeah, so I think I was using this one before, the Marbor sword. 59 to 73. 59 to 73. No, this one. Right, right, so I'll keep this one on me, but all the other swords can go in the stash. Yep, let's get these ones in here. And then the rest of this stuff... There is really not too much here. I can sell that, right? Battle axe. Okay. Okay. Cool. Any books or whatever I want to bring in here? Not really. Yeah? It's mostly just armor and stuff here. Hmm. Okay. Baron. I'm ready for you. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Yeah, I know you won't. You lost earlier. I'm up for a rematch at any time, though, if you're into that. No! I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Let's play Gwent. <laughs> Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! You are so... <sighs> I'm not one of your servants, okay? Yeesh. Anyway, we should play Gwent as well. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Which one? Let's lay him down. Okay. I don't think my deck is, uh, yeah, the guy earlier gave me Torrential Rain. Not really anything we're in super, super need of. Okay. I'm just thinking here. Do I want to just take out Sheldon Skaggs? Because I tend to just redraw him anyway. Maybe it's better to just take him out right off the bat. So I have a lower chance of drawing those things to begin with? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we have three blue stripes commando anyway. That's already a four. Sabrina Glefisig? Uh... Sometimes we might want different row thingies though. Like this one's range, this one's close combat. Guess I'll just leave it like that. Also a Northern Realms opponent. Impenetrable Fog, go away immediately. Okay, Trebuchet, Commander's Horn, Kedwenny Siege Expert, Blue Stripes, Blue Stripes, good. Vess, Sheila, Prince Stennis the Spy, Crin Free. Oh, we have. Our numbers are a little bit low today, aren't they? We have a lot of cards? But the numbers tend towards the low end. That's a little bit worrying. Kedwenny Siege Expert, we don't even have that many siege things today. Yeah, just looking at the. Um, look down here. We have one siege card. Uh, I think that means we should get this to go away. What did we get in return? Death mold? Okay. Well, well, we'll just feel you out. Yeah, we don't have decoys. We don't have... We have a spy. Okay, spy. Oh my god, the trifecta! The trifecta. This could be good. By the way, just to make sure, you have the same ability as me, right? Impenetrable Fog. So that's for ranged cards. Of which I have... A few. A few. Hmm... Yeah, I feel like when I start out with a spy card, it's pretty hard for him to feel me out because... Now he's already starting with a higher number than me? How much does he want to commit to this round? Uh, definitely not using the blue stripes this round. Maybe I'll just try Vess. Or, or, or. Duh. 
No, let's do let's do Vess. Vess. Oh no, I feel like if I did Sheila, that probably would have been better because Vess is a close combat card. I could have stacked it with the Blue Stripes Commando and the Commander's Horn. That's okay. Um so he had a spy as well. I have a medic. Other than that, do I want to beat him that badly or do I just want to pass this round? Let's use Sheila. Catapult. Okay. What happens if we tie? Do you want to tie? If I pass, are you going to put down more cards? Cuz you're not as you're not a Nilf guardian. You're not going to win because we tie. Biting Frost. Okay. Well, I made him use the card. That's fine. Now we have to win this round. Mmm. That's not good. Now we have the same amount of cards, but he has a win above me. Siege Tower. Never seen that. Um, we have to win this round, but we also have to win the next round. So I'm not sure if I should, like, save up these guys first, or, like, what should I be... I can use Yennefer and get back a spy. Let's do that. Yes. Cards. We need more cards. Oh, beautiful! Another pair. Commander's Horn. Already? Okay. This is Biting Frost. Biting Frost is for close combat. Oh, that's not good for me, because I have all these close combat cards. Oh, uh, maybe we can use one pair this round and one pair next round. I don't really want to put these guys down right now, because Yennefer is also arranged. So if he had a... Oh, we know he does. If he has the fog, then we're done. <laughs> and we know he has it because he has the leader card. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I have clear weather, so it's not the end of the world. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, well thank you for increasing my numbers. This round I do have to win. Yes. So let's just put that pair down then. Oh! You're passing! You pass right after I put down one of the guys. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Okay, I think we got it then. Yeah, because we have clear weather here as well. We'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Vesemir. Oh, I want that card. Do I have a card? Where's me? Am I a hero card? If you are to be hanged, ask for water. Anything can happen before they fetch it. Ah, an opportunist, are you? I like that. Never give up until the very end. Oh, Baron. The innkeeper guy was way stronger than you. That guy was really something else. I really love that round of Gwent. Callista? Alright, dude. Watch this. Cool and all. Can we speed up these animations, by the way? We've seen it so many times already. I don't know. Hey, you got that too! Oh yeah, well... Two can play at this game. Oh, it doesn't triple though. <laughs> I wish it did. Oh! That's... That's a little surprising. <laughs> um... Okay, ranged row? That's impenetrable fog, right? Right? Oh! Commander's horn first. Yes. Oh, scared me. I thought he had another one of those ones. Okay, I don't think I want to use Biting Frost, because that's for close combat. Mmm... Impenetrable Fog would take away 11 from me, but 45 from him. 
Yes, we should do this. How do I use it again? Uh, up, enter? He's passed. I don't know what his last card is. I didn't even have to use clear weather. Ooh, all right. Oh, these numbers always get crazy towards the end. <sighs> you won. A man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. So you're not even gonna tell me his name? Hmm. Okay. Other Gwent players in Velen. The Soothsayer and the Man in Oriton. Okay. Well, we'll see where they are, yeah. Oh, we also have this. Meet the Peller in the Stone Circle on Fike Isle at midnight. Do we want to do that? The Fall of the House of Reardon. You know what, these levels, I guess they don't really matter in the end because I'm still gonna do all these quests. <laughs> it's not like if a quest is level 5, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, maybe we'll just not stress too hard about that part. I'd want to finish up Family Matters before we do Ladies of the Wood, though. Oh. How do we find more leads on the Baron's wife? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe we have to talk to the Peller? We could do the Forefathers Eve at the same time. We got Sigismund Digstra. The Spy card. That's good. That is good. Yeah, it just says investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. That's something... Very non-specific. I'm not sure how to head off from that point. For the moment, like, just thinking about it. Uh... Did we have other leads that we didn't investigate yet? Hmm. While I'm thinking about that... I'm thinking we can do a race outside Crow's Perch, if that's okay. Baron Schmarin. Baron Schmarin, that's your boss. You can't say that about your boss. Hey Roach, we gotta practice our turns. You gotta go faster. Even in the town. No excuses. We can only do races during nighttime, right? So this is perfect. 9 p.m. Oh. If we want to do races, we probably want to switch the quest just so we can see the markers in the race, during the race. The rain. It's hard enough to see as it is at night. Here we go. So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Yeah. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. As long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Good day, grey one. <laughs> so, who are you gonna race? Struttering Mamamatko, Iron Horse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Um, Iron Horse Hands? Uh. I'm okay, I'm okay. Let's see how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. Spent half me life on horseback. Other half on the backs of ponies. You can't beat me. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Is it the same track? Mount up. Three, two, one. Go! Yeah! If it's the same track, we should be okay. Just gotta make sure to pass through all the markers properly. Faster it's that one U-turn at the very end that, that always gets me. Here, yeah. Because I find myself divided between looking at the mini-map as well as what's actually on the screen right now. Oh, that stamina thing that we got from 
winning the other guy is really good. Haven't had to stop even once. Faster, beach, yeah, faster. Oh. Got a ripe apple for you no. when we're through. Not so fast, Roach. Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? I'm kind of surprised that no one's trying to rig this by, I don't know, hurting my horse or trying to fight me on horseback or anything like that. Saddlebags. Let's check out if it's better than the one we got. 30 maximum inventory weight. Duh, that's useless. That's useless. Okay, might as well just go over the last one. Why not? So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as. Good day, grey one. <coughs> so, who are you gonna race? Stuttering M -M -M Matko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Is Black Bogdan really strong? Uh, all in. Ride against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, all right. Come Whoa, on. I'm not into Let's that. Let's the wager and get racing. Mount up. Three, two, one. Go! Hey, Witcher! You might not want yet! I guess that's supposed to be something that makes me angry or <laughs> whatever. But it doesn't really... Yeah, I don't think it's working as he intends it. Skewer your mare? You should treat her a little better. Oh, I hate this turn. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're okay. We're okay. Hey, Witcher! You might not want yet! Sure. Oh, it's a little different this time. Hold up. There's usually... No, no. Did we go a different way? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, it was the same track. I I got confused. Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. I guess there's not really any ideal strategies for using your horse stamina, right? It's just, if you have it, use it. Don't store it up. That's pretty much it. Hey, everyone packed up and went home. Where is everybody? <laughs> oh my god. I got horse blinders. Horse blinders. Is that better than what I have right now? It's the same. The exact same. Okay. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're done this. We're done the races. Now what? <gasps> Maybe we'll find some nice shelter instead of walking around in the rain? Hmm. Right, it's switched to the, the ladies of the wood, but what I really want to do is go back to family matters. But, investigate all remaining leads. Was there something I forgot? Because what I can remember of Anna right now is that she was running away with Tamara and there was fire coming out of her hands and she got taken away by a monster into the forest. We don't even know which forest. None of these markers are related to Anna's... Anna, right? Anna's wife. <laughs> hmm. Do we have to talk to the Peller again, maybe, at Fike Isle? He might know more. And maybe I want to talk to the pillar anyway because he's an alchemist, right? He should have like alchemist thingies for sale. Um. Okay, why don't we try to head for Fike Isle? Let's go to Crow's Perch, head to Fike Isle, and we'll just do the Forefathers Eve and see if that will give us more leads. Okay. Back this way, Roach. At the same time, we need to find more herbs like Arenaria and stuff too. I'm pretty sure we can buy that off the alchemist. Pretty sure. Where is the... That's it, Roach. The sign. The sign I'm looking for is here. 
it don't stop raining, my arse will rot off. Oh, that's a really delicate ass you got there. Okay, Orton, the other Gwent guy. We'll take a little bit of a break from Gwent for now. Although it is a little bit addicting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Fike Isle. Oh, I hate coming back here. There's nothing good here. Just to get a little bit of a refresh on this one. Forefather's Eve. During his travels through No Man's Land, Geralt ran into the Peller once more. What? No, he was at the Baron's castle. <laughs> the strange fellow had a favor to ask of the Witcher. He wanted Geralt to help him perform a cherished local peasant rite, known as Forefather's Eve. During this ritual, he explained, lost spirits are summoned and their deeds judged. Fantastic material, by the way, for a poet looking to make his name with an atmospheric ballad. This Forefather's Eve was set to be held at midnight on Fike Isle, and Geralt, having no other plans and his curiosity piqued, promised to attend. <laughs> no other plans. Oh, it's 2 a.m. right now. We're a little bit late. Is that all right? Ah, oh, ignore them. Ignore those guys. If we can. They're level 9. Same level as me? Oh, beehive. Haven't seen these in a while. Thank you. Give it to me! Please! Why won't you give me the beehive? Is that not mine for the taking? I don't know, but a ghoul's coming. Is that not takeable? Oh, whatever. Screw that beehive. I'll have this one instead. Let me have it! Oh, why won't they give me any more? Do I have to wait until the fire runs out, or like, am I doing something wrong? Because I thought what I used to do was just burn them up, and then they would have honeycomb. Oh, maybe because I've already gotten it before, and they don't respawn? The hive respawns, but not the... the honey? Ooh. Wonder what killed them. Doesn't look like the work of necrophages. No, that's for... The castle, the whole thing with the castle. Hey, Pellor! Coming here was really difficult, but I'm. What comes next oh, wow. As life subsides, man his own fate decides. Wow. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they're harried. That's a lot of people. What is this life? Well, you know. Fleeting torment, here we go. What comes next, once life subsides? Man, his own fate decides. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. I think I'm ready. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. That's a big circle. What is this life? Well, you know. Fleeting torment, there we go. What comes next once life subsides? Man is on the Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they're harried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? The storm we'll prepare dead. to end their grief. Let's begin forefathers' eve. Water hag. Um. Ye who wander on the gale. Give me a second, okay? Is it necrophage oil? I hope so. Okay. Thunderbolt, maybe? Ever caught in this world's thrall, see this sign, gentle pale. Ye we summon, ye we call. Ye we summon, ye we call. Ow. I can't see. Ah, a sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Oh! 
freaking heck. You can continue on the ceremony without me, okay? Please don't wait for me to finish up and then continue it. <laughs> I'm not sure if the water hag uses necrophage oil. Hark, a sound I hear. Tis right, a spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Who are you? He knows. Do you want him here? Should I drive him away? Nice. No. I've come for you, Patricide. Oh! Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! His father. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me! I'm supposed to help Lapella, right? Uh, that's what I'm getting paid to do today. Sure, we'll be making enemies of the Eternal Fire if we... Uh, whatever, whatever. Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it! Neither do I! Disperse the others. Good folk! Leave not these grounds! Ye cannot break the circle! Oh, I have the axe. Oh, the Peller's fighting too! This is the Forefather's Eve. That guy was the Peller's dad, I think? He mentioned patricide. Okay, the... The fighting animations are a little bit different for the axe, but so far... Nice! Tis an ill turn. Ill. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet, we cannot stop what has begun. I don't know what you're actually doing here. The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. Okay, ghouls? Got it. We're fine. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call, enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is gloom, what will be in the darkness gloom? Something whispers, something peeps, someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is gloom, what will be in the darkness gloom? Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. Wait, we put so much effort into this. You're just gonna give up? Hey, newly crafted specter oil, finally coming into good use. Whoa! Hello. Hello, maybe try to get him in the circle here. Did you get him? Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. 
Old man Ambrose, the pillar fears not. The ghost seemed like a middle-aged man, and the pillar himself is really old now, so I think the pillar has probably outlived... Well, obviously, but I mean, his age is older than when his father died. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. I'm helping you though. I feel like if you want me to help you, it's kinda hard to avoid letting me know. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. It's like um, a ritual to, I guess, maybe honor your forefathers? Witch hunter sword. Uh oh. That was our first time killing some witch hunters. Oh, wow. That might be my first time seeing the storm stop. I feel like we've always just have it stopped because we fast travel or maybe we meditate. It's quiet. And serene once more. Somehow we managed to avoid using a single swallow potion in that whole engagement. That's amazing. Because I was eating dumplings in the middle of battle, probably. <laughs> okay. Well. The swamp. His father's body is in the swamp. In the swamp where? Over here? Next to the ladies of the wood. Hmm, if we don't have any more leads on where Anna is, maybe that's where we want to go. Huh? Yeah. Griffin's school gear. Hey, Griffin's school gear is level 11. That's even more relevant to me, isn't it? Because I think Wolf is level 14. We should get that. Fall of House Reardon. Oh, okay. I think they're, they're starting to want me to go over there now. Okay, okay, that's good. Jenny of the Woods. <laughs> There's so many things. Oh, freaking heck, man. This is like way beyond my level. I mean, I'm way beyond its level. Treasure. Shoot, we gotta go back. To There's no way I can't like just keep up with the leveling. I'm always gonna outlevel everything if I keep doing every quest. That makes me sad. <laughs> makes me sad. Okay. Was there a grave hag in this area that I didn't fight before, or...? Okay, you know what? Let's go over here. Let's keep following the forefathers thing. But, uh, the closest way for us to go there is probably via... Lindenvale? Yeah? There's a... Oh, there's a quest where we can talk to the hunter. So, maybe what we'll do is we'll go to Lindenvale. Get the Griffin school gear, because that's hyper-relevant to us right now. Can we actually see where the other pieces are, aside from this one? Yeah, oh. Find all the diagrams. Oh, we don't have the diagrams yet, so we have to go to the grave first, maybe. And then maybe we'll check out the house of Reardon. And then, maybe we'll come here for a fast travel point, and then we'll go down here. How about that? A lot of plans, a lot of plans. Um... I feel like whenever I plan ahead too much, things tend to spectacularly fall apart. But, you know, what matters is that we initially had a plan. <laughs> Let's get to Linden Vale. Where is the hunter that we can talk to about a contract? I don't have him marked right now, but I think he's... ...nearby. Um... Oh, I'm wandering the other way. Oh! If there is a blacksmith here, we can probably get some enhancements before we leave here. <laughs> I'm just going through all these cracks. By the way, using the axe for a little bit right now, uh, it seems like it does do high damage. I don't know if I should keep using it or not. I guess I will. Mm -hmm. 
It's only for fighting humans, anyways, which doesn't happen too often. So, eh. Oh, by the way, we leveled up earlier, didn't we? We leveled up earlier. Oh, the hunter should be right here as well. Okay. Right, we got another free slot. Oh, we had that free slot for a while now. <laughs> but I didn't even use it. Oh my god. Okay. How do I... How do I get a mutagen in here again? Like, where do I get that? Here. So would that be a blue mutagen or what? Sign intensity. Okay, that's cool. Let me just check out what these all say. Vitality, vitality... 5% attack power, sign intensity. Sign intensity. I don't really know what that means. Oh. So blue is for magic. Red is for raw attack stuff. What's this one? 5% attack power. It's a lesser red mutagen. If we can craft a non-lesser one, maybe that would be good too. Oh, okay, this is 7%. This is 5%. Foglet, lesser. Yeah, so if we want to go with a blue one, it should be like this. Mm -hmm. This is for Igni. Do we just want to put two points into it? <laughs> and not think about it too much? We do have that potion that lets us redistribute all these points, I think. So not too big of a deal. Delusion. Quen. Arden. I don't even use art enough, to be honest. What I'm gonna do is I'll just put it into Igni for now. Although Quen is one that we use pretty often now because we want to play a little bit more defensively. Quen shield pushes back opponents when it breaks. Could be interesting. Okay, one point in this one. Yeah. Sure. And it's blue, so that's nice. And maybe what's the next thing for here? Pushes back. Creates an active shield. Oh, alternate sign mode, okay. Alternate sign mode. That unlocks if we put six points into this branch here. Let's put one more into Igni. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Here you go. So do that. And now we've unlocked the third branch here. Okay. Oh, I still haven't put Delusion back in here. Uh, Vitality plus 500? I think it's okay if we take it away now. So is this okay? Yeah? How much Vitality do we have in total anyway, for the moment? Oh, do we have any new bestiary entries, by the way? Necrophages? Ghouls, surprisingly. What's new? Ghouls creep and crawl at night, eating everything in sight. In a snap, they'd eat you too! Chop you up for a ghoulish stew! Ghouls and graveyards are hard to describe. In part, they resemble humans. Yet on the whole, they are the utter negation of all that is human. Though they have arms and legs like men, they walk on all fours, like dogs or badgers. Though they have eerily familiar faces, one searches them in vain for any sign of sentiment, reason, or even a spark of any consciousness. They are driven by one thing, and one thing only, an insatiable craving for human flesh. Do they come from dead humans? Because I think it would be pretty horrifying if you could recognize somebody that you loved on their faces. Mourn Tart. Oh. Grave Hag? Special Grave Hag. Somebody's doing some cooking. This, it's a human humor, a child's. Most Grave Hags rarely attack humans, preferring instead to feed on the rotten remains they dig out of graves. Yet some individuals grow bold over the years and beg, begin sneaking into huts to steal children and kill the elderly. Just such a monster was tormenting the inhabitants of Lindenvale. The Witcher knew this grave hag would put up a fierce fight. He would have to watch out for her powerful claws, capable of smashing through any block or parry, and her long, venomous tongue. He also realized her attacks would be so quick, not even his mutative reflexes would be able to keep pace, meaning only judicious use of the Irden sign would all him to survive and conquer. Oh, maybe that would have helped me out, huh? Iridin and Quen. The outcome of this fight was not hard to predict. 
The grave hag perished in the very graveyard, which had heretofore served as her feeding grounds, and her body was dumped in a grave she had dug with her own claws. Ooh. Poetic justice? Black blood. Huh. What is that? Cool. Oh, Gradin. Gradin was one of the witch hunters in King Radovid's service. Unlike a great many of his comrades, he came across as a level-headed fellow, one free of prejudice, at least in his dealings with witchers. He didn't seem too bad, no. No. Did we not also- Hey, how come it's in a different order now? Is it in alphabetical order, or...? That's really confusing. <laughs> uh, Tamara Stringer. Did all the stars go away? Because I'm pretty sure we got an update on Tamara, didn't we? Oh, Tamara had indeed made it to Oxenford, safe and sound, and would not even consider returning to her father. Determined to save her mother from the clutches of the creatures that had imprisoned her in the bog, Tamara had joined the ranks of the witch hunters, hoping their support would allow her to survive a trek into the Crook Bag Bog. It's like a tongue twister. Crook Bag Bog. Crook Bag Bog. Well, maybe we'll see her later on, because we're going there anyway. Okay, get rid of that. I came here to find out how much vitality I have. Where do I find that out? 4,400? I think we're okay. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try it out and see. Yeah, these are worse. We'll just sell them later on. Probably should have sold them earlier when we were next to the blacksmith. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. Do not hear the huntsman that some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to heat my hut with? I'm looking How for a hunter, right? None of those since they stole the cattle. Is it over here? I don't have him on my mini map right now. No, I went past him. Was he just somebody here? This guy? Which? This guy. Tis as though the heaven sent ye. Oh, I. Hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves, ripped their guts out, but left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it, makes it kill. Howls and bellows, night something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods, though hunger grips the village. Hmm, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, whatever. We'll not haggle. <laughs> Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here. Good hunting to ye! We've accepted so many contracts that I'm gonna lose track of ah. which monster is what. Sorry, lady. Especially because this one is level 20 as well. Witcher. It's gonna take a while. This is how the heaven sent ye. Yes, you said that already. Okay. So, we've talked to him now, and hopefully... Oh, I don't know where it actually is. It's here. No, we do not go there because it's too high level for us. It's level 20, right? Exactly. Right. So we'll just go to Griffin's school gear and then maybe the House of Reardon since it's kind of along the way. Oh, the cat stuff is really near as well. Ah! The truth is in the stars. The soothsayer. Uh, you're a Gwent player as well, aren't you? Let's start with the, the Griffin school gear. And we're gonna get there by... We could go through the proper roads, or we could just cut through the forest. I guess going through the proper roads would be... <laughs> it would be the best way, but... I don't want to go this way, because that might, like... Oh, but I have to search the forest, right? Ah, I don't freaking know, man. Yeah, okay, let's just... We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's 8 a.m. With Roach, it should be fairly fast anyway, no matter which way we go. Hello? <laughs> I just want to loot your house. Oh. Man, okay. Ooh. It's all bloody. No loot. False alarm. Move it. Yeah, we are kind of on the road right now. We can just ride right past the... 
the thing though. Or we can cut through here. Hello? Just riding past? Ooh. Come on now. What's that? A camp? Only one person at the camp? Alright. That is a bear. Or is it a berserker? I think I know why there's nobody at the camp. Because they're dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like circle. He's like aggressively circling the treasure. Hey. I know, that was a bit of a surprise. Ooh! Whoa! That was a little bit... He attacked me for quite a bit. Are you coming back, or...? I'm just healing up a little bit right now, so I'm not... crazy about getting right up in his face. Oh. That was a... A grizzly bear? No, it just seems like a random brown bear. Don't think that's something that's too crazy either. Just some random sword. Whatever happened to the camp here, it's just... There's nobody left. It's burnt, though. Did they burn this when they left, or...? Oh. Okay. You know, speaking of these these uh, places of interest, just out of curiosity, how many are there left? A lot. 74, apparently. Um, my plan is we're just gonna find a lot of these naturally by walking through. Ah, oh, so I guess the thing is, if we go by the official roads, we might see more villages and stuff, but we might be missing these question marks. Anyway though, my plan is, we're just gonna see them naturally as we go along the places, but by the end of Velen, like once we're done with everything in Velen, whenever that's gonna be, then I'm gonna switch it on again and check out whatever's left. But for now, I think it's much cleaner if we just leave it off. Okay. All right, which way am I going again? No, I got stopped by this random tent here, but we're, we're going this way. It's a nice trek through the forest again. And I think we went past the, um, the contract place already without having seen it, so that's good. Oh, you know what? Oh. Hey there. Dragon Slayer's Grotto? What? Monster Den? When did we... Just now? Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Guess we should get off. And before we do anything else, I think it's probably better for us to meditate so that we can get some supplies back. I hadn't realized we only had one Swallow Potion left. Okay. Dragon Slayer Grotto. I'm probably on the back side. What is this? I don't see a civilization or anything. Here. Nice sliding skills. Just here? Okay. This seems kind of a little bit scary. Not sure how to feel about this. Yeah, that's more than a little bit scary. Uh, Spectre Oil? Do we still have nine charges of it? Really? No! Ow! We're fine. We're fine. 
Roche can't come in here with me, but I'm feeling a little bit... I don't know, man. It's kind of scary in here. Lots of little rooms. Can we see a map? Nope. Guess we'll just go wherever... Oh. Okay. Hi. Oh, these wraiths always disappear. Them and their little disappearing act. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Death March, okay? Death March. Let's not get hasty here. Oh! Ow! Oh my god! Come on! Whoa, that very well could have been the end of me. And here I was laughing about how they were level 7. <laughs> okay, probably need to rest after I look around a little bit. The swallow potion now. Save some food. If we're looking in the right place, the gear should be somewhere here. Or maybe we're just finding the diagrams here for the Griffin School stuff, not necessarily the gear itself. Ah, I forgot to repair my swords earlier. Hopefully that's not going to be a huge problem. There's dimeridium ore here. Whoa, what was this place? Just gonna wait to heal up a little bit first. Oh, maybe we'll turn on that candle, huh? Light things up a little bit. It's not much, but better than nothing. Okay. One hour, 15 minutes. In the middle, oh my god. Hello? Hello? That was only one hour. Why are you all here already? Whoa. Whoa, hold on. Oh my god. They're all ganging up on me. <laughs> what even happened? They just all got me while I wasn't... <laughs> the room was too small for me to move around in. That's my excuse. Uh, why don't we meditate outside? Maybe that was the problem. Meditating within the scary place? Yeah, and I think my specter oil ran out at some point too and I didn't realize that probably was not such a good thing. No. Hopefully we do a little bit better this time, huh? Well, they're not here yet. Yet. Enhanced Thunderbolt. Ah, that's actually something we use pretty often. Angrenar- Angren- Angranian? Curious? I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. So, I mean, feel free to drop at any time. <gasps> oh my god. Whose grave is that? Uh, if I loot that, will wraiths come out? I feel like that's a pretty, pretty big possibility, huh? Marbor sword? Oh, what? If I didn't meditate inside, would I not have been killed? They just all came back after I meditated. <laughs> There's no one here. Maybe that's a dragon slayer, huh? Just wanted to take a look at the alchemy because I want to see if we can craft the thunderbolt potion. We can make some decoctions. Decoctions seem to be much harder to make. I'm missing ingredients for a lot of them. Ooh, because they need mutagens. No wonder. So what's the one I can make? No, I can't make it. I just got a new formula. That's all. <gasps> 66 dwarven spirits. Holy crap. Can we also make mutagens here? We can make a green mutagen. Can we make a red mutagen? We would need three lesser red mutagens for that. 
Can we make a lesser red mutagen? No. I guess we just have to find those, huh? We can make one green mutagen. That's it. No, that's not really something we need right now. Enhanced Thunderbolt. We're missing one Andrega embryo. Hey, that's not too tall of an order. We can make that. Yeah, we just have to find an Andrega. Where did we see one before? Just randomly in the forest? Oh. Well, whatever. Just gonna try to keep in mind that we can upgrade our Thunderbolt sometime. I would love to upgrade our Swallow Potion if that's a thing. Hello. Hello. Yes, Spectre Oil would be great. Yo! Oh. I know your attack patterns now, okay? I've seen you too many times. But I still get hit by it. <laughs> It does that thing where it disappears and then tries to hit me twice in a row. So what we gotta do is really just avoid that part. A lot of Wraith mutagens here. Oh? Uh... Ah. Dope. Oh. We're fine. Oh! Oh, is there some gas over there? Why am I burning? Why are things burning? Or, oh. What? What's burning? What's, oh, the torch, the torch is burning. Oh, okay, hold up. Ah! Ah! Not good. Okay, hold on. We had a potion that lets us not die in that poison toxic gas, right? Potion... No. Breath supply... No. Clears toxicity. Also not what we're looking for. Golden Oriole. Grants immunity to poisons. Yes. Uh, what did I just do? Mm, okay, for the time being, I'll do that. Sure. So, if I drink that, will I be okay? <coughs> I still can't use a torch though, so we'll just have to make do with um, the darkness in here for now. I might be immune to poison, but I'm not immune to blowing up. Oh, what in the world is going on in there? Whoa! What? What is that? Are we supposed to be here? It's level 11. I don't know what that is. Whoa! I don't even know what potion you use or... Whoa! Ow. Calm down. Calm down. It can do some light teleportation. You know what? We need Quen. What am I doing? Oh! I'm trapped! Oh, I can't use... I don't think I can use a strong attack when I'm holding a torch. Ah, that's what was happening. The slaughter of Sintra. No, no, not this. You, I wanted to loot you. Ekimara. Vampire saliva. Ooh. I came here for the gear, but I hope this wasn't tied to a quest or something. Okay, well, I mean, we did it. We did it. We did it. Ekimara. 
Relics. Oh, no, no, no. What? Sylvans? Oh. Sylvans are cruel, greedy, and treacherous. Still, I prefer them to Duan, says Yevin. Sylvans and Yakshas, a kindred species, are extremely rare woodland creatures whose appearance combines trails of goats and rotund men. These beings usually pose little danger, for they limit their contact with humans to playing harmless, though often bothersome, tricks and eating crops from their fields. Oh, they had one of these in the book. Oh, that was the guy in the basement. Oh, I wonder how those people are doing. Vampire. Ekimara. Whoa. That's a... You've got a very fine beard. Bah! Ain't nothing to fear. Ekimaras, why? They ain't nothing more than overgrown bats. Says anonymous city guard. His dying words. <laughs> like other vampires, Ekimaras are not, despite what village gossips might say, undead humans. They are instead post-conjunction monsters who have no particular feelings about garlic, holy water, or religious symbols. Unlike their portrayals in ballads and legends, they look nothing like handsome, pale aristocrats with charming eastern accents. Though, like catechins or nucarats, they do bear a strong resemblance to overgrown bats. They also do not suck blood from the necks of virgins with a delicate, kiss-like bite. They tear them to shreds using long, sharp claws and then slurp the splattered blood off the ground. Ooh. I mean, okay. We did pretty well for not knowing what the heck it was to begin with. Just wanted to check for future reference, what kind of oil would you need? Vampire oil, we don't have that. Igni was good for it. Burn its beard. Somehow we made it out of that engagement alive. Ah, uh, It seems like... Like, am I even in the right place for the diagrams? I hope so. Oh, here we go! It's like right on the edge of the circle, so I was doubting myself a little bit. Witcher George. A witcher named George. <laughs> Seems kind of average. Oh, that's only four out of six. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed to Velen. Sadly, I was dragged away. Oh, he's the dragon slayer, I guess. From my hunt by the prefects of Gors Velen. They summoned me as an expert to solve the riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the work of night wraiths. Hmm. Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than blocked trade routes. Luckily, I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned that the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windermer. Wise. Yet they were not wise enough to bring firewood and so warmed themselves by burning elven manuscripts. It aches my heart to think what knowledge about Alderfolk went up in those flames. At least a few of the manuscripts survived, including some highly interesting sketches of armor. Yet enough about that. Eyewitnesses have reported ashen scales, height at haunches, two fathoms, length, five fathoms. I don't know how long a fathom is. Addendum, estimated weight approximately 14 quintals able to maintain a high temperature in its bellows, dragon lungs, for longer than a quarter hour. Conclusion, we are dealing with a green dragon. Commencing hunt. What happened to him then? Cause this place clearly seems like a crypt. Oh. I don't think he's alive anymore. If that's saying anything. <laughs> we got a bunch of diagrams for the... Griffin stuff though, which I think is good because that's next level. Yes, we, we need that stuff very soon. Where can we get it? This one? The Lord's Castle. There's a Lord's Castle here. There's a ruins of the fortress by the lighthouse. Okay. We definitely need to go out of our way just to get that. Just to have better armor and stuff, you know? Is that it? Or uh, where's the other other ones? I'm not sure. Because we got four out of six diagrams, but where's the... There's two. Am I already looking at the other two, or...? Griffin. Oh, this is level 18. Wait. I thought Griffin was level 11. Part two? This is part one? Eh, we'll figure it out once we go outside. <laughs> Okay. What's 
that noise that we keep hearing? Crows? Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Well, I know there's something here. There's something here. Need to use the eye. Oh. No wonder we can hear crows, because we were so deep underground. Why would we be able to hear that? Dead horse. That wasn't George, was it? That corpse? I don't think so, because this guy probably died because he thought he couldn't get past here. Or was he the one who cast the illusion? Who knows? Wow. Is that related to the ladies of the wood? That big tree? It might be. It's in that direction. Okay. Oh. We just sort of came out of somewhere completely different. I think we should backtrack a little bit though, to go to the house of Reardon and maybe even visit the small village while we're at it. Oh. Wow. Forgotten cave. 